Hey guys, I'm Janet, I'm guys, and today we are carrying on with the Miao Ying campaign. Here she is, pointing in the desert. She just loves to come out here and point at things. I mean, mostly, mostly this house over here. Mostly what she likes pointing at. She's getting really good at it. Getting really good at it. Zap. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, uh, so while Mao Yun's having fun, uh, we're going to focus on what we're going to do today. So we're going to take the City of Monkeys, everybody's monkeying around, and uh, we'll stop them monkeying around, and then we'll give it to our allies, and then they can monkey around, and it's going to be great, because we can actually give people settlements now, and that's... Oh, I, oh, I love this game. Uh, so that'll be good. And then, uh, well, we took Terracotta Graveyard, didn't we? So part of our plans have come to fruition, but we did also confederate last episode so we have a bunch more gates now so turtle dragon and snake gate all covered and actually this does make me wonder how come we have turtle dragon and snake because i mean dragon obviously but it seems the other two are suddenly suddenly seem far less important by by um you know, in comparison, because obviously, dragons are the best. Like, no, nothing as good as a dragon. Even gods, right? Not even gods are, are up there. So it seems weird that the, this is the naming convention. Unless these are constellations. And these gates are under certain celestial bodies. Huh? Huh? Maybe oh, we'll no, never know. Right. Maybe, maybe it was only one gate at a time. So it's just, you know... It's got named whatever seemed most relevant at the time. I really have no idea, but I would like to know if there's any meaning behind uh, the names of the different gates. If that uh, their names, you know, bestow any kind of power or anything. But uh, I did just realise that I did just see... Um, uh, no, apparently not. I noticed we saw... Uh, we, we just met Goldtooth. So I thought we'd try and trade with them, because he seems keen to do that, but... Uh, not keen. I love that you can even look to see if anyone fancies peace. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love that. Just, oh, we ought to skip through this. So good. Speeds things up so much. Uh, celestial loyalists apparently are keen to be defensive allies. Not quite keen to be military, but yeah, defensive allies sounds good. Let's do it. Excellent. And now pay me for it. Thank you. So, I wasn't expecting to have any more money this um, this turn, so this is really nice. This is a nice change. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, actually, I think I probably want to upgrade this as soon as possible. Let's do that. In fact, we can do both. No, we can't. Yeah, I want to get that as soon as possible. I'll have more money. Although I really want growth as well. It would help. Wind shape. Uh. We need money more. We need money more. We have no money. We are going to take this and hopefully get some decent loot from that. And maybe we can flog. Like, we can get some good money for the settlement with these guys. We'll see. Think of seeing things. I hadn't seen this before. Look at this. This is beautiful. I wonder what this is. Is this... This looks like some, some pagan stuff going on. Okay, we worship dragons around here. Well, no, we, we don't technically. We pay them taxes, which is kind of similar, kind of similar to offerings when you think about it. Um, it's just, uh, there's more paperwork, I suppose. But anyway, uh, unassigned skill points. Let's crack on with things, guys. So, unyielding. I, I want you to be unyielding. Don't be, don't you be yielding, okay? I won't have it. No a yielding for you. Great Thank you. I am a tool. Ah, oh, you recognize me. Authority. So, commandment available. Oh, of course. Of course it is. Income from trade faction-wide. Is that worth doing? We are getting almost 1,600 now. But I think there isn't actually a growth one, is there? No, there isn't. I, yeah, okay. Income from trade, then. What am I doing over here? I'm still doing the recruitment one, aren't I? No, I'm doing corruption and melee defense. Good. Good boy. How about you? Corruption and melee defense. Okay, okay. that too. So one thing I really like, actually, um, most... Uh, civilizations now appear to have a stance that's very similar to this where it there's like you know getting rid of corruption but also that campaign movement range minus 20 percent for enemy armies starting the turn in the region that really helps with the cat and mouse thing that is just so annoying and like so synonymous with total war warhammer where the enemy 
will come into your territory, raid, and as soon as you get an army nearby, they'll just try and run away. And you can literally never catch them because you move at the same speed. But if you have an edict like this, they won't be able to move as far, and you can actually catch them, you know? Uh, potentially. Potentially. But it just, it helps, it helps you get a hold of them, which I think is really cool. Really cool indeed. It is nice. Maybe we'll use that strategy at some point, but it's just nice to have the option, you know? Alright, let's get to the next turn and see what's what. You are deemed worthy of our assistance. Oh, Jianho. Uh, join a war against Clan Spittle. <gasps> There's Skaven somewhere. And, and Beastmen. And Greenskins. There's actually quite a lot going on, huh? Quite a lot going on. Now, this is cool, actually, because obviously there's a lot of enemies sort of in the heart of Cathay here. Because uh, it seems that most of Cathay is just one faction. So the fact that there's a bunch of enemies in here carving up this, like, quite, quite large uh, sort of civilization here that apparently has absolutely no interest in building armies. So it's kind of cool. Wait, hang on. This guy's a caravan master. That's a very strange pick. For a, for a... Oh, okay, no, that that just... I guess I'm also a caravan master. I think that just means he has caravans. But okay, never mind. I was like, is this is their faction leader a caravan master? But no, probably not. <laughs> anyway. Let's join a war. Much like nowadays, wars are very profitable. I know. Well, for some people. Uh... On balance, I'd say not worth it. But, you know, I'm not a warlord. Uh, so, presence of great severity demands obedience. Sure does. <gasps> Harmony's balanced. Oh, that's brilliant. You know what? I feel good. I feel good now. Because, you know, my chakra was all over the place. Ooh, an ambush. Uh, so this is harrowing. Because our caravan is being ambushed, and it is basically just an army of archers. So this is probably going to sting a bit. But this should be quite fun, defending from an ambush. Feel honoured! We fight for the Dragon Emperor! We fight for the Moon Empress! I love that they say a few words at the start of a battle, but it doesn't make a lot of sense in an ambush. When the ambush hasn't been strung yet, he's just walking, shouting, We fight for the Empress! I, I think everyone thinks he's gone mad. Oh my word, that is... That's a... That's a rough... That's a rough happenstance. Uh, oh, I don't like this much. Don't like that. We must have march. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, my bones! Get off my bones, I need those! I need those, please, please stop. Oh my word, yeah, it's just gonna be this Empire Captain. Toe to toe with him. Oh, what are you doing pushing straight through? You know what, it's time to summon the Ancestral Ancestors. Okay, everyone put your moon rings together. And here they come. And this is what happens when you have harmony. Jolly handy, isn't it? If your chakras are aligned. You have to... What? Guys. Are you... I think they're huddling together... Uh, scared? Which, I mean, makes sense. But, uh, doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Terror. Oh, wow. Yeah, they do what all ethereal units do. They they terrify people. That's cool. I like that. That's fun. No, attack the guy. Jeez. Oh, God, dogs are back. Now I can see why they were huddled together. Oh. Oh, this is going to go badly. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. It's all right. It's all right. We'll live. We will. They, they, they may not. All right, good. Got the ogres, and the slaughter master here, Lord of Beasts, is um a little bit pinned down at the moment. 
I mean, these are summoned units, so they will degrade over time. So they'll probably disappear in a second. Oh, we have won the battle, though. Thank you. Thank you, ancestors. Ah. Do you think do you think they're related to the grandmother grandmothers know best? Ooh, ooh. Granny, Granny doesn't condone that sort of behaviour. Decisive victory. Also, cool map, right? More more sky titan ruins. I love it. I really do. I do love that these guys got a you know, their sort of legacy is is in this game. It really does make the Mountains of Morn way more interesting. I love it. Just think, ogres. Not really big on construction, you know? Just tents. Whatever noblars make for them. It's, you know, they're pretty primitive in that regard. Alright. Jobs are good. Let's venerate. Because I really do need that replenishment. You know what caravans are like. Also, with that level up, <laughs> destroyed the Ogre Kingdoms. I mean, technically, but also technically not really. So yeah, with this level up, the Lord because it is just archers, I think I'm going to get wayfinders, which actually lowers the ambush chance. So we'll get fewer ambush events, which is very, very handy. An upper hand, Let's do that. Also, hi Kazran, how's it going? Kazran Drake Beard of the Karakazorn Dwarfs. So, oh, that is Karakazorn. Yeah, okay, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Can I, help you? There must be I know nothing about him. He might be awful. I just like that there's a new dwarf character in a new dwarf hold. I like it a lot. So, let's get him. Let's do one battle after another. It's lovely. So, Shang Yu, let's go get you. Gonna be high casualties. I mean, I can see that. There's quite a lot of troops here, but you're kind of forgetting that we're Miao Yi. So. I'm gonna maybe readjust that. I don't think it's gonna readjust it. I think we just have to fight the battle and show it. Ooh. I like this map. I do like this map. I've said that about all the maps, haven't I? Seriously, like I've said that about all of them. Uh, one thing though is this has that mist that I was talking about. This map always slows me down, I'm pretty sure. It's this mist, it's all the volumetric fog in this game. I mean, that's what I'm calling it. This might not even be volumetric. I just heard that word once, but, um, you know, it, it's not a fog sprite. So, you know, it, it's volumetric, right? That's how I understand it. But anyway, always slows my frame rate down. It's the same as that, that wind spell with all the flames and the smoke. It slows things down. I think it's the same effect. It really slows things down. Don't know what it is. It's, it's very weird. I don't like it. Uh, so, you hey. lot Go over there. You know, this is actually perfect, I think. This is perfect. Because we're going to deploy around here. Plenty of open space for our enemy to sit in. And we have plenty of archers to kill them while they sit in it. It's it's pretty great. It's kind of win-win. Win-win, win-win, win-win. It's wins all the way up. It's just great. Uh, so you can go over here, I guess. My mind! So you are my group one, because someone has to be, and uh, you are going to move up like so. Uh, it is, it is decreed. It is the way. <laughs> it is decreed. <laughs> I know, it's, d d the, the word is decreed, it's not, it's not two words anyway. I'm having fun, leave me alone. You're not my dad. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. So let's uh, get our wizard doing something. Can I hit these guys with lightning or are they just going to run away? I think they might just run away, unfortunately. It's okay. Let's inch you forwards. And yeah, you guys. The iron hail gunners. Alright, let's move up a little more. Hopefully, the enemy will, will run at us for some reason. I don't know why they would, really. Probably because I'd be doing things like this, which will be, like, really upsetting for them. Hopefully. Hopefully stuff like that. Then we're all like, rawr, I'm a ghost. <laughs> and then I'm all like, take that ghost, eat lightning. And then I regret my life decisions. But it's fine. Like, they're going to die anyway. Well, they're already dead, technically. 
you know. I don't mean to rub it in, but... Alright, now I'm going to hit these guys because they're killing my peasants. You know what? You stay there actually and get killed. I need this comet to land. Because it's very fancy. And it will probably also ruin my frame rate. Let's find out. <laughs> Goodbye, frame rates. It's the smoke effects. It does. So yeah, it is just... It is just that I've got my special effects on too high. It's got to be, right? It just seems ridiculous. I've got a, I've got a, a ludicrous GPU. Like, just obscenely powerful. Because, you know, it helps do everything. It helps me render videos quicker, which saves me time. So, you know, it's kind of a, important to have a very good graphics card in my line of work, funnily enough. But, uh, yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Although, to give the game credit, I can put that option down, and I've never noticed the difference between, like, extreme and high, or is it, like, ultra and high, whatever it is, um, VFX settings anyway. I can never notice the difference. And this game is still three weeks from release. I think. Or is it two weeks now? You know, I can't remember. It's ages from release. Actually, wait. As of me recording this, I think it's two weeks now. Wow, it's getting close. So it'll be like a week away. For you guys. That's nuts. Getting close, guys. Getting close. But, uh, yes. But this is still a good couple weeks from release. So, optimizations is still just not on the agenda. Optimization is always the last thing they do. Just straight up, like it's not even time for it to be optimized yet. You want to be a dragon? You should be a dragon. <laughs> I think it'll suit it. Alright, you just go there, we can run them either side, I don't really mind. Okay, so that's good. I think I might chase them off first. Ah, oh, such a cool city. I love these little... What would you call this? Like a like an esplanade or something? I don't know. I like it. It's good. Let's go... No, they're just peasant archers. Never mind then. Let's go get these jade warrior crossbowmen. I think they... I think they want to be murdered. Just a hunch. And let's get another comet to cast daughter on these peasant archers. That feels like overkill. Let's just do a bit of lightning. Hopefully these peasant long spearmen will run into them too. We'll be able to double up. That'd be pretty nice. And... Good chunk. So good. So good. I really hope they don't nerf that. Because that's the thing with, uh, with that spell. You might be thinking, that's too... That's obviously too powerful, Janet. Obviously too powerful. I don't really care about balance against the AI. The AI can be as dumb as, as they want to be, but... Like, multiplayer, where balance actually matters? Nobody's going to stand there and take that. They're going to see the spell being cast a mile off, and they're just going to move the unit. You know? So, uh, yeah. Absolutely no problem for me. I, I, I welcome... I welcome the new meta of millions of lightning bolts and trying to avoid it. I think it's going to be fun. Alright. Keep chasing them. And more light... Oh, we almost killed them all with rockets by accident. My bad. I suppose we needed to kill them somehow, but still. Um, you want to hit them? I don't know. I think we're fine with all our archers. I just don't see these guys surviving for very long. So, alright, you're doing great. You do better. Let's hex them all. Not that we really need to, but just them not being able to move. Uh, it just makes me happy, is all. Look at this game! I'm sorry, guys. The vistas are too good. I can't, I can't handle it. Okay? I can't handle it. It's, it's too fantastic. There's a reason I like this franchise, okay? <laughs> so, oh wow, you completely, completely wiped them out, huh? Oh, well our ghosts are here. I like that our ghosts leave corpses. Also, they don't really look like ghosts. I mean, with the pale, they look pale, but like not made out of ghost bits, so... Are they actually... Are they actually like full bodies being created as they run through the portal from the realm of the dead? Is that what's happening? I have no idea. I don't really know anything about the realm of the dead for Cathay, but they're not big on religion. So it's not like they have a god like more, like a god of the dead like more, to, uh, to, to sort of look after their souls. 
So are those dead warriors that have been sort of fausted away by the Moon Empress? Or something. Is it is the, does the Moon Empress run some sort of Valhalla style system? Is that something she does? I suppose for her it wouldn't be a Valhalla kind of system, because she's she's more less about like straight up warfare, really, isn't she? So I'm not sure it would just be warriors, but it's certainly the warriors that she's spitting back out to murder people. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure the Moon Empress is the is the one in charge of um, the the afterlife. I think. All right, there's more lightning there, I suppose. So how are you doing anyway? 65 kills? It's not bad. I feel like we could have moved something, but I'm really just waiting for army losses to kick in. It really feels like that should have happened already. Alright, go go kill them. And uh, you can start shooting them too. Let's put them on guard mode so you don't wander off. Alright, let's go attack them some more. How do we reach them with lightning? This has mad range. I really do adore the fact it has such mad range. That's really fun too. That may get nerfed. Although it is generally nice. It is generally advised to use uh, Oranum's Thunderbolt against artillery. So you'd really want the long range, you know? You'd really want that. You'd really want that. Alright. Uh, you guys can stay here. They're, they're coming for us. They're coming for us. Oh, we are really just cleaning up. Huh? How many kills has our Heaven's Guard got? 221. That's not bad. By all accounts, that's that's not half bad. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the top here. I think. Oh, we got to we can't reach. All right, we're in a thunderbolt then. All right, more of that. Go nuts. Yes. You know what? You guys move up. And you guys move up. Okay? We're just doing this with ranged units. We're going to have archers firing at everything that gets too close to the Iron Hail Gunners. That's our tactic there. I do wonder if we could make an army like that. Just make... That was a wind blast. <gasps> they didn't touch us. So, wind blast isn't very good anymore. It's not half as good as it used to be. Um, or, it's just everything else is so much better now that it doesn't seem as good. I really, I can't make up my mind which. But it just doesn't seem as good anymore. Okay, they all gonna go around here. It looks like it? Oh, no, they're not. They're not. They're gonna run away first. Alright, bye. Bye. That was fun. That was fun. I like this map. It's really fun just pushing up the streets. Like, taking the town square and uh, funneling the enemies into these areas. It makes it so much easier to defend these sort of funneled areas. But the enemy just don't seem to make use of them particularly well. They really play into our hands. You know, by coming to us, it's very silly. But anyway, decisive victory. Ah, oh, this is ours now. Ooh, ooh, look at this. See these, see these stairs? Right, this... These would be the stairs that would be practiced if you were a Shigenja. Okay. Look up Shigendo. That's where I think Shigengen comes from. But yeah, these stairs, I think, would be great practice for that. Get to the top of these stairs and you've definitely reached enlightenment. Probably because there's a dragon here that can tell you stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. Alright. We have the city of monkeys. Now everybody's monkeyed around. Uh, so, let's take it. We didn't get any items, sadly. We're going to occupy it. Because now... The storm. We don't have to worry about taking over territory that should belong to our allies. We don't have to worry about our allies really dragging their heels when it comes to taking over ruins or, you know, if we sack a settlement or whatever. We don't have to worry about any of that, partly because we can actually bark orders uh, much more efficiently at our allies, but also because we can just take over territory. Ooh, we got bigger. We can make a bigger... Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, okay, this sounds nice. Let's get this. <laughs> Hang on. We should read about our outpost in a minute. But anyway, what I was getting at is... We could trade settlements now. So city monkeys. And you can sell them. 
So we just took over a place and we get an extra four grand because we're flogging it to somebody. Cathay's might is it and that is only going to help us because now we have an ally that actually has a full province and can hopefully start issuing some edicts and just generally running things a bit better and uh, getting himself off the ground a bit. It's going to be much more useful to us to have an ally who is capable of recruiting a larger range of uh, units and all sorts. It's going to be good. But anyway, we have a Jade Sculptor now, so hi. Hi, Jade Sculptor. The likeness, that's their name. Their name is <laughs> their name is Jade Sculptor. Yeah, Mrs. Sculptor. So the likeness of the Guardian Lion, perfectly graven from his most desirable of materials and imbued with its rage and power. Recruit rank plus three for Jade Warriors and Jade Warrior Halberds. Which we may do. We may do. Meowing. Uh, no, I'm not meowing. I'm speaking English. So let's get... Uh, I think we'll get the missile attack ones. Hang on, what turn are we? 19. Yeah, I'm going to go with the two ranged ones. So I'm going to go imposing range. Uh, when an enemy thinks they are safe at range, it is best to prove them wrong. Very nice. I love that. That is a good line. Uh, range plus 10% for all missile units in the army. Brilliant. And then the persistent fire. Reload time production plus 20% for missile units, which again, huge bonus. Like more range, you can fire quicker. It just means you're getting way more shots in before anything reaches your front line. It's great. So when defending the Great Bastion, one must follow up a missile volley immediately with another. Yeah, fair. A tool fit for the dragon's daughter. Um, that's sweet, but I don't want I don't want the dragon's daughter. Be very self-deprecating today, aren't I? <laughs> just I'm letting everyone call me a tool. It's really rude. Um, but you know, just I, I don't want to be I don't want to pick him up on it. I don't like conflict. So let's get I want to cast Andorra, Chain Lightning, Earthing. Let's see. Chain Lightning is a lot of fun. Yeah, I think for that reason alone, I'm going to get Chain Lightning. I always use it inappropriately, just because I think it's always more exciting. So, I'll, you know, if enemies are just running towards me, I'll just use it in the middle of a field, knowing that they have to dodge it. It's really ineffectual, but it looks so cool. I don't really care. Um, like most battles, it's a given that I'm going to win it, so I may as well have some fun, right? So, let's do that, and, uh, ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. I was about to build a, a infrastructure building. I was thinking, oh, we can get some more income or something. And then I realized that I'm going to throw everything off balance. Do you know what would be really good, actually? We could do technology until there's only one turn left, and then swap to a different technology. And we could probably do that in a few places, and we could just finish them off every time we go to build a building. So, if it'll take a turn to build a building, then we can just build one of these. Right? Because that's the thing. Harmony only impacts the initial level. So, Harmony plus one Yang, but these are all plus one Yang. It doesn't add, it doesn't, like, affect balance anymore. It's only that first one that takes one turn, which means you can always maximize, you can always stay in Harmony if you, if you do that. So, actually, I am going to do Harmony, Balance, Yang. I'm going to do Harmony, Balance, Yang, and then I'm going to get more trade income. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Okay? I'm going to mistime it every, every time from now on, okay? Now that I've mentioned that, you guys will notice that that is something that I intended to do, and you're going to pick me up on it every time I don't do it, which will be every single time we do any technology or build anything. Okay? I know that's going to happen. I get distracted easily. Okay, I can't help it, but I think you will agree that it's a good, it's a good idea, okay? You know, he means well, you'll say. He means well, but, oh, he's a silly sausage, because that's how you guys speak. I've seen you in the comment section, being, oh, you silly sausage. Uh, so let's build some things. <laughs> let's play the game. Uh, powder magazine, perfect. Crane gunners and the Grand Cannon, which is very cool. Let's get these. That's good. Because I'd love some more diversity. Actually, let's not get that. I do need to level up Nanyang or Nan Li. Let's level up the mines of Nanyang first. Which hilariously have no mines in them. I really wish there was a mine there so we had more trade resources. But it's fine. It's fine. It's clearly um, just like an honorific. Um, okay, we're going to grab a couple of these the Jade Warriors. Uh, I say a couple. I must 
Three. So we'll have six in each. Brilliant. And then... Oh, we can't quite reach. Although, we can reach here with both of our units. We do have the discount building here now, right? No. No, we don't. All right, fine. You go over there. Oh, no, we do. I'm upgrading that. Oh, perfect. In that case. All right, you stand there too. That gives another discount. The next turn, she can run a long way to get to here. Look at that. We actually have income. Even though we have three armies. I will be okay. we're, we're actually earning a bit. That's good news. And then Miao Yin. What the heck are we going to do with her now? I suppose go up here, right? Well, we found the Skaven. They're up by Candlan. I mean, I knew they were up there anyway. I just didn't want to spoil it. But uh, yeah, we got we got Greenskins here. We got Skaven here. Uh, Candlan has gold in it. This is supposedly where the... I think the dragons are supposed to have been born or something. I'm not really sure. Um, there's some vague references to that being the birthplace of dragons or something. Okay, so... I just don't know which ones. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to build anything yet. Okay, we're going to hold off with technology. Let's crack on. Caravan encountered. The Stranger. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this guy knows him. Uh, so, as the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. His offer is to join the retinue for no pay. There is safety in numbers, but he will help protect the caravan. Well, yes, you can be of some use. The stranger may prove useful should the caravan come under threat, but they have a strange look in their eyes. <laughs> really strange look, like, how, why am I, how am I there? How am I already in the army? You know, he sees the other Empire captain. Anyway, uh, mountain eaters. Dripping fangs. Aw. Dropping like flies. Constructor. Chan Duan Mu. Income from buildings in the local province isn't particularly useful here, I must say. These gates don't really earn much. They really don't. Uh, there is something exhilarating about raising something up from where once there was nothing. Uh, uh, matron. Um... <laughs> Muji Chang is ready again, so when we need a third lord for Turtle Gate, we can go ahead and do that. Won't do it yet, though. I think Turtle Gate can look after itself. Uh, we are being invaded currently, apparently, even though. Did no one tell me that we're being invaded? I'm pretty sure we're being attacked. Or is this like final warning that it's at 100% and we get attacked next time? Or did I just completely miss the memo? I may have just missed. I may have just missed the memo. Uh, so let's get the Bastion Mess Hall. The garrisons of the Great Bastion are well fed and provisioned to ensure strong defenders and more able bodies. Uh, man the wall. We are in need. Let's get Terracotta Graveyard built up. I really wish you could get, like, lore about a specific settlement as well. Like, I wish each settlement had, like, a, a description, you know? Like, in this area. Like, down here, you know? So they'd have all the growth tab and everything, and they'd just put, add a little box that said, this is historically where that Lucas aid comes from. You know, just whatever, really. I think it'd be nice. The celestial okay, you guys head over. I guess we need to go this way, right? Can we go this way? I mean, there are some green skins over here that I should probably remove, huh? Should probably get rid of them. Should I do that? Um... I think I probably should. Also, uh, you notice this place, Shilong. This must be where all of our peasant spearmen come from. The Emperor's chosen that was a joke. Daughter. I know the spears are long. Don't at me. Let's move over here. We'll uh, we'll deal with this. Also, just look how great the campaign map looks. It really is stunning. So many little details. Like we we just immediately know that this is the breadbasket. You know, it's great. More little temples dotted around. Ugh, oh, gorgeous. So much detail. So much detail. So much detail. Still on this turn. Jesus. Right, okay, let's uh, put you on a normal stance. Yeah, you'll be able to change to a normal stance in a minute. And I think we are ready to crack on. So I know we're not at war with these guys yet, but I want to murder them and then head north. I'm assuming there's, yeah, it must be a bridge there. So we'll come up behind these guys, because if they try and attack this way, first off, there are other enemies nearby that they'll probably attack first. But uh, also, we were in spitting distance of helping out any of our 
settlements anyway, so I feel pretty good about just running up and, you know, helping out. I think it'll be good. And I kind of don't mind if I get attacked, because I kind of want to do some defense, like sieges, because they're really fun. <laughs> we can build towers and barricades now, it's great. So, yeah, you stay where you are, and let's crack on. Ready for duty, Chow Chow, which is the the one we got given to us from Confederation that we didn't really need. Uh, so let's build up the gates, let's build growth, and you will need the upkeep reduction in time. So may as well build it now. Also, there's some uh, chaos zods that have snuck through the gate. Faustus uh, Trigridson. <laughs> Ready to defend. Dad, I don't know if I could do it. Try good, son. Are you trying to say try your best? Yes. Bless him. He loves his son, but he's just... He's a terrible communicator. And, uh, yes. I am currently writing Oscar Bait. How did you know? Let's fight this battle. Uh, is this yet another map? No, I've, I've played this map before. I don't know if you guys have seen this map before. Um, but uh, I love it. I love it. I rarely see this one. It's really good. Oh, love it. Details are so good. So good. So good. And yes, this will be the next several years of campaigns from me. Me loading up a map, claiming it's really good, and then doing a battle. Just how it's got to be. So you can either take me for you know who I am, or I will change because I need <laughs> I need my audience to live. <laughs> so you know it's pretty it's pretty good deal for you guys. Um, God, look at all this the walls along here. Like it's not a walled settlement as such, but you know it feels like a like how a settlement would be. You know, like barely fairly well walled in but uh, yeah still it's a city it's a living city it's functions you know it's uh, really cool what's going up here oh there's little stones Today around it I thought it was evil. birds Today, I thought maybe those are chippy on all days, we shall smite it yes I stand ready. wait smite what I, I wasn't really listening to what we were smiting. Sent by dragons. Just generally, do you mean just the enemy? Generally? Is that what we're smiting? Because that's fair enough. The dragons ask. It sounded a bit like you just the said the dragons ask. Just saying. Yeah, get in, guys. It is you know, I'm, I think I'm in a bit of a silly mood today. My mind is I'm, uh, I'm a little I bit sleep de like, deprived, so Rule I'm just... My mind's going on an adventure. <laughs> Speaking of adventures, uh, here's the the greatest adventure of all. And it's death. Death is the greatest adventure. So go kill those savage orc cowboys. Honestly, being sleep deprived is the best thing for uh, for YouTube. Just I've got no filter, so you know, comedy gold. All right, where are you going, mate? Like this isn't this isn't any way to kill trolls. Also, how do trolls look nowadays? I mean, much the same, but I mean, this is the better lighting. They do look really good. Like their their flash looks more. Um, I mean, a little shinier actually, but it looks it looks fleshy, you know. Perhaps it looks too fleshy. Maybe it should look more like uh, their backs. Certainly should look more like rocks. Although I guess that does look a bit rocky too. All right, you guys stay there then. That's all going fine. Um, all right, move up. And let's. Uh, oh, this is a perfect time to use chain lightning. Actually, I really like this as a strategy. Although he's got to move so far over there. Hang on, how are you breaking? You can break. I, I just always assume they're unbreakable. I feel like why wouldn't they be? You know. This is really going to sting if it lands. Are you anywhere near casting it yet? A little bit, but not not enough for me to feel comfortable. I'll just throw in some lightning and, and hope that that'll do. 
And again, rather upsettingly, there's the light. It was fine. It was, it was fine. Okay, it was fine. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here is pin these guys in place. I feel like they're not listening to me. Alright, you don't. Do what you do. And I'm going to use Curse of Midnight Wind, which is great against things like Savage Orcs. Savage Orcs basically don't have any health. Um, like, and like no defense, rather. Like, they just die in seconds. They are not a resilient sort of unit. And so, what? Oh, you know what? I think you need to go in front. Uh, so what ends up happening with them is if you get rid of their melee attack, they just lose the fight. Because they can't afford to fight you if they're going to be taking a bunch of damage. The whole reason why they're capable is because they do a bunch of damage. They kill you before you can kill them. That's their job, you know. That is entirely their job. I think they might run away before I can lightning bolt them, but they might survive. Maybe. No, we got him, we got him. Good. Alright, how are you doing now? So, I don't think things are going to go well for these trolls. Are you, are you even... I can't tell if he's... Okay, now I know he's facing the right way. And they're on their way up. Uh, yeah, I think I need to destroy that tower. And you guys can all move up. And shoot over there. Our dragon's having fun, as always. Alright, you guys move up. You guys move up. And uh, you guys just sort of just come in behind. I'm sure I'll find something for them to do in a minute. Uh, we did the Tormentor Sword again. Yeah, no moving for you. Little swine trying to run away. Alright, you guys doing good? Ah, we destroyed that. No pit. They just built a new one, I think. Well, I guess we probably did destroy it. It's just um, irrelevant. <laughs> They have made it irrelevant. Uh, there are some more archers up here too. I'm a little bit concerned about getting too close there. Okay, let's move you up. You know what? Let's take that. Let's take that capture point. Uh, there's a capture point over here too. Let's move you over there. This I'd like to destroy. So I will. And you guys can move up. I guess not that way. I guess I'll put them here. Alright, go finish them off. How are things looking over here? Did you get a volley on these guys before they duck behind these rocks? I'd appreciate it if you did. Oh no. <laughs> My cabbages. Okay, so that went well. So you guys do that. Let's destroy this arrow tower. Good. You're going to be able to hit them from there. Really hard to say. I had dropped this bomb. Ah, you know what? I, I knew I wasn't going to hit him, but I thought I'd take the gambit. If they happened to run under it and that landed on one of their heads, I think that would have been, like, just the greatest shot ever. So, I was going to risk it. Okay, good. You got rid of them. Uh, go kill those archers now. Okay, you guys need to move up. Yeah, we need to move up and attack these guys. Oh, that's just a pit. Okay. It's a good old-fashioned pit. Um, let's... Yeah, I think I might throw in a chain lightning now. I know that if I throw one in here, it's more likely to hit something. Oh, good. Okay, these trolls don't know what they're doing. So, it looks like we've got it handled. Pretty good. Yeah, that's jolly handy. Have they added new trolls falling over animations? I feel like I've never really seen them do a flip like that. Okay. So they did move. So that chain lightning may have done nothing. <laughs> so that's good. They did nothing, huh? Yeah, it did, it did nothing. Um... Oh, I don't know. Can't wait cast Dora. I'm wasting all my magic, but I have so much magic that I may as well just use it, right? Alright, go chase them down. You go shoot them. 
Good boy. Uh, another Tormentor Sword. It's lower than melee attacks. They can't fight back. Perfect. Did you hit anyone then? I feel like maybe we did. Just maybe. Alright, Meow Yin. I want you to have higher stats. 90 melee attack is pretty good. You know? That's pretty good. I will take it. I will take it. As long as she could hit something. That would be nice. So we should probably win from army losses. Fairly quickly. Uh, so, I always talk about how great the range is here, and yes, it is insane. He's actually lightning bolting in a different conflict entirely. Well, it's not a conflict so much anymore, is it? Um, war crime? They're orcs, it's fine. Decisive victory. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's... See, I'm not sure whether I want to occupy it or flog it. <laughs> I may sell it to someone. Uh, we could give it to those other... The other people in this region. And they might appreciate that. Uh, we're going to occupy it for now. And we'll see what we're going to do with it. Because the thing is, we are inevitably going to end up... Uh, yeah, naturally, confederating with all of these guys. So, actually, it's it's kind of easy just to, just to say, Hey, you want, you want Nan Chang? You know? Also, we can give them Tai Tzu, and I'm not really sure why or how we can give them Tai Tzu. Because I'm pretty sure you can only give people um, territory that they are bordering? Which means they apparently border that as well somehow. I don't know how, but whatever. So yeah, I might give them that. Um, they do like me a bit, which is nice. So what would they do if I gave them that? They'd give me military access. <laughs> really? Uh, not even... Hang on. But we don't... We have a non-aggression pact, and we have... So... Uh... Uh, what? I don't understand... So can you not give people a settlement in exchange for military alliance? I feel like that would be the best way to secure an alliance. To go, here, here's some land. Look after it. And I will help you look after it. Or whatever. Like, you know, that feels like a big quite a concession to make in order for them to get swept up in your military um, uh, uh, conflict, I suppose. So yeah, I don't know, that seems really weird to me, but sure, military access, that will help because I'm going to be trespassing as soon as I give them this otherwise, which would be very funny. And now balance the offer, two grand. Cool. I actually like the idea of just essentially being a mercenary for the other the other Cathayan um, provinces. I think that's quite fun. Eye of the Storm, plus 50% base weapon damage, and plus 50% armor-piercing weapon damage. 24 melee attack as well. That's really good. Really good ability. Duration, 29 seconds. That's plenty of time to murder a guy. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to slap someone about with your dragon tail. And call it a day. Right, I'm going to get Opposer of Chaos just because this is too good to, to not have when we, when we need it. So, um, Miao Yin stands vigilant against the armies of Ruin, but order is the only true answer to chaos. The entire army, this would be a great skill if it was just for Miao Ying, but this is for the whole army, plus 10 melee defense when fighting Norska, Warriors of Chaos, and Demons of Chaos. And a 4% ward save for the entire army against those factions as well. Insane. It is so good. She is the ultimate chaos killer. I love it. Also, you don't have any armor. Then there's no armor for you. Aww. Sorry, you tang Okay, let's get something. Um, let's upgrade Comet Gassendori. And we can get uh, Arcane Conduit next turn, which is very nice. Not next turn, next level. Which may be next turn. You will see. So we're going to go to Bridge of Heaven next, which we have a mission to do. Uh, Raider region. Oh. Oh, see, now that's a shame, because I'm definitely going to forget next episode <laughs> to do that. Uh, also, hi! Hey, dragon horses. You know, it's actually great to see these without armor. Um, so it's really nice that they actually include these guys, just like, roaming the countryside. Also interesting to see that some have wings and some don't. That's also very interesting. We're learning. We're learning about the, uh, the Longmar. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Is it that the, the, only the, like, males have wings or something? What's the... I don't know. Not a clue. Pretty cool, though. Ready to really want to learn more about them. 
Really do. So, I think... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to end the episode and then I'll faff about with things. Because, yeah, we are we are at time now. So, that's true. That's, that's today's message. Pride is not undeserved. Brilliant. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. And uh, do, do all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.